We're unique that every single employee in this organization touches occupational health services. I get to see every single one who work at Stanford, whether it's housekeeping, physicians, the residents, new employees, the CEO, CFO, we get to see all of them. They do come through us first, and when we walk down the hallways, everyone recognizes, oh, you drew my blood, oh, you did my vaccine. Our employees are kind of like our soldiers. They're out there, they're taking care of our patients, while well, I'm protecting our value, I guess. Our patients are on the front line of providing the quality care, that's a norm at Stanford. So it's a great honor to treat them, get them to their fullest potential. I would say there's never a typical day in occupational health services. We open at 7 and then we start assisting the patients as they come, one by one, getting them in and out, drawing their blood and doing their N95 fit test. Monday through Friday we come in and do surveillance, so we draw blood, we do vaccines. We sort of run like a, an assembly line. Our employees are our greatest assets. If they have questions about an exposure, if they're anxious about a needle stick, or if they just hurt themselves, we want to make sure that they feel like they're being taken care of the same way that they take care of their patients. We have two arms. We have the emotional side, and then we have the physical side. My objective is providing resources and services that help with professional fulfillment and addressing any stage they may be in their career or in their personal life. Traditionally, when people talk about safety, they think about patient safety, but employee safety is equally as important. And those organizations that understand that have been able to improve both at the same time. We have made significant strides in this area. The goal is to really take care of their injuries in a way that they should not recur again. But rather than being off work, we bring them back to the hospital where they can work in different departments and the institution can utilize their expertise in a different way. As you can see in 2013, there were 21,279 days that an injured employee was completely off work. And then looking at 2017, there's a big difference. There's a huge decrease. Just in four years, the number has dropped significantly. Originally, I was an ICU nurse here at Stanford, and then I had an injury. Through occupational health help, I was able to find placement, and now I'm the clinic manager. I'm very proud of my team. I would say my greatest achievement was recruiting all those people in there. <laughs> That's going to make me cry. <laughs> so wait a minute. At the end of the day, it's our job to keep all of our employees healthy and happy so they can perform at their best and feel awesome. We're like the foundation for Stanford. We're basically giving it back to the employee. I know that what I'm doing is supporting the staff, enabling them to be able to take care of our patients, and knowing that no matter how busy the day is, it's going to be a good day. Ah!